It's been one full week since we've seen this little cub. And it's grown up since I last saw it. I saw it over a week ago. Her mother's just curled up into a ball, all of a sudden fast asleep. She's got a very distinctive scar on her back. And look at how cute this is. They are such awesome animals, hyena. And you can't help but fall in love with them, especially when you see all different shapes and sizes now. Small, medium and large. And thankfully this mother doesn't have to worry about any babysitting because there's three older cubs that the smallest one can play with. And we all do think that it could be a future queen, that little black cub. We f tend to agree that her mother is the most dominant. And we learned just the other day that the mother of the oldest cub is the second most dominant. And the mother with the two twins is the least dominant out of the three mothers. Absolutely wonderful. I guess there's nothing to worry about, even though the older cubs are nibbling at it. They're tough little animals, hyena, and it knows its mother is right there. And if at any stage, like right now, the mother feels that the others are becoming too aggressive, she will make sure to come in and intervene. And she's trying to, it looks like, give a youngster a bath. She's trying to knock it over with a muzzle there in order to lick its stomach clean. The baby doesn't want to have its bath yet. It wants to go and play with its cousins. Well, this little hyena cub will be a little ball of energy. It's getting fed with extremely nutritious milk. And hyenas have the most nutritious milk out of all the terrestrial carnivores. And it's important that it works that way because they don't, it wouldn't suit their lifestyle to be able to take their cubs to kills or bring king kills back to their dens. Unlike wild dog who can regurgitate their kills and unlike lion and leopard who live a very different lifestyle and can afford to be very secretive for the leopard and hoist their kills into trees where their cubs can s face feed safely. Lions have the safety of the pride that can defend their cubs against anything that may attend a kill. But hyena don't have these abilities and therefore have got extremely nutritious milk because their cubs need to milk for very extended periods of time up to over a year. Whereas other predators will stop drinking milk at around three months of age. Or at least start getting weaned off then. And this highly, highly nutritious milk is what's powering this little fur ball. And will continue to power it for quite some time. Even the larger cubs that we can see here are being fed also. Majority of their food is milk that they get from their mothers. Andrew, look at the, uh, there's one lying down on its back and it's almost as if it's looking up at the moon rising. It's been looking up into the sky, the one that the little fur balls just jumped onto. And it was staring intently up towards the moon, I guess wondering what it was or what life would be like out there.
aren't we so lucky to be allowed an insight into these animals' lives? It really is so, so fortunate to be able to share all of this with you. And we're slowly getting to grips with the complex hierarchy that is involved with a hyena clan. The complex hierarchy that is involved with a hyena clan only stay at the entrance to the burrows into this termite mound. Now this is the furthest I've ever see it, seen it stretching away. So really great that it is coming a lot closer to the vehicles and slowly we're getting to see it grow up and build confidence and we're going to continue to watch them just like these other three, hopefully for years to come. And if we do get to know the, the complex social hierarchy a bit better, because it is incredibly complex, the alpha females, beta females, how they uh, interact with one another. All females born to the current alpha female will essentially be in line to be the next queen. So there's competition between sisters for that title. And we're only slowly beginning to piece together this puzzle at the moment. Very sorry to hear that some of you lost picture earlier.